Today is April 17th, 2021, and this is your daily Half-Life 3 update. There is no news about Half-Life 3. Yesterday, I asked you guys for questions, said I, w said I would answer the best one in today's update. That comes from Paul Trujillo, and he asked, if I were to be the director of a Half-Life movie, how would I go about doing that, you know, who would I cast and whatnot. Uh, so, this is actually something that I have thought about, I have given some thought about before, and I think what I would, first thing, I wouldn't make it a movie, I would make a TV show out of it, and here's why. Is that I don't think you can make Half-Life 1 or Half-Life 2 into just one movie. I feel like you would need to separate those stories out into se into several movies, kind of like Lord of the Rings. Uh, I've always thought for Half-Life 2, that would need to be at least three movies. You know, the first movie would be Point Insertion to uh, Black Mesa East. You end with... Uh, somewhat cliffhanger uncertainty of entering into Ravenholm. Uh, movie 2 would be Ravenholm all the way to Entanglement. Uh, of course, Entanglement ends with that cliffhanger of you know, them jumping into the teleporter and the screen goes white. A part of me would also want to spend as much time in Ravenholm, so I would also kind of want to make a whole movie just for Ravenholm. But you know, it seems a little. This seems a little much. And then the third movie would be from Entanglement, obviously, to Dark Energy. To, you know, the ending of Half Life Two. I don't know where I would break up the Half Life One story. I, I just don't know the Half Life One story as well as I know the Half Life Two story. I know one, one thing I do remember. Well, I mean, from what I remember, you could have the point where Gordon Freeman gets knocked out and sent in the trash compactor, that could be, you know, you, you could have a cliffhanger ending there, uh, you could make Zen a whole movie in itself, probably, but yeah. Now, like I said, I would want to make the movies, for it to be several movies, and the reason that I'm not sure that would work is because the events of Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2 they take place over the course of not even a week f for Gordon for Gordon Freeman's perspective. I mean, I know 20 years transpires between Half-Life 2 and Half-Life 1, but Gordon Freeman spends all those years in stasis, so he doesn't age in between Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2, and uh, later on in Half-Life 2, there is that weak time jump because of the slow teleporter, but again, him and Alex, they don't age during that week. So Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2, they take place over the course of less than a week. I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know really how many, how long that is. I want to say Half-Life 2 is really only... Because the first night for Gordon is Ravenholm. And then is the second night when he gets to Nova Prospect? So I want to say Half-Life 2 is maybe just three nights. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure. But you know, I, don't know how, I don't know how long Half-Life 1 is. But So Gordon Freeman doesn't actually age. So if you're, if you're trying to make five or six movies that take place over the course of seven days, you know, you gotta make sure your actor doesn't age. And, you know, the rest of your cast doesn't age as well, either. Because, I mean, you're probably gonna have to recast roles like Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner, and... Because you would want those characters in Half-Life 1. Since they're being a significant part of Half-Life 2, and they're claiming to have been involved in the events of Half-Life 1, you would want those characters in your... In, you would want those characters in Half-Life 1, kind of like what the Black Mesa uh, remaster did, that they 
you know, the fan project that they released on Steam, they included those characters into the game, which that works. You would want uh, Dr. Breen in Half-Life 1 at some point, too, probably, and, you know, Magnus in. Uh, a character like the G-Man is significant, and he doesn't age at all. Uh, and then once you get into Half-Life 2, again, that would that would be three movies by itself. Uh, you have the characters Eli, Isaac, Alex, Barney, all those people. You know, it's 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 a couple days for them too, so they don't age either. So that's why I would make it a TV show. I think you could make you can make like I want to say let's say a ten episode season. You can make a 10 episode season for for Half-Life 1 and then maybe a 10 episode season for Half-Life 2. I don't I'm not exactly sure how many episodes it would be. Uh but I think TV seasons would work best for if you were to tell the story of live action of Half-Life in live action. Uh, again you would have a shorter but a smaller budget which would be good I don't think you need crazy special effects uh, for the story of half-life I mean at some moments you would need special effects but you could probably go through most of it with just practical effects which I think that would that would make it look a lot cooler you know there have been some really neat fan films of half-life 2 and that you know aesthetic does come off nice in live action from what I've seen. Uh, but then, then comes the then comes the topic of casting. Now, a while ago, I did come up with like a little, you know, who I would cast in the roles, but that was a couple years ago. Uh, so that all that has aged significantly, you know, people age. But uh, I think another thing you need to think about, particularly with Gordon Freeman and when you cast him. He's like 27 years old in in the uh, in the Half-Life games. He's pretty much as old as I am at this point, which that is crazy to think about. Boy, uh, wow, that that puts some things in perspective. But yeah, Gordon Freeman is about 27 years old. So, you know. When you look up, you know, fan castings for Half-Life, they'll throw in somebody like Hugh Laurie to play Gordon Freeman, which, yes, uh, Gordon Freeman, Hugh Laurie does look a lot like what we've seen of Gordon Freeman. But he's just too old to play that character. You know, you need, you need someone somewhat young to play Gordon Freeman. So I think if I had to cast somebody... Off the top of my head, I haven't looked into this too much because I only saw this question, you know, today. Uh, Dacker Mon Montgomery, you know, uh, he was the Red Ranger in the Power Rangers movie. He played Billy on Stranger Things. I mean, he's kind of got the look, but and uh, he's a good enough actor, so he could probably he could probably pull it off. I suppose. Although, honestly, now that I think about it, if I'm directing it, I would just have myself be Gordon Freeman. Because you don't hear Gordon Freeman talk anyway, so I could, like, keep that that way. Since I wouldn't be a good actor, I would just be silent and, and emotionless throughout the entire TV show anyway. So, I think, there you go. And I'm apparently the right age, which is crazy to think about now. But, uh, yeah. That, that's who I would cast as Gordon Freeman. Myself. I don't think I look that much like him, but, uh... You know, I think I could... I, I think I could get away with it. Because you don't actually even ever see Gordon Freeman in Half-Life. You know, I, I, I think you see him briefly in 
like some of the Half-Life expansions of Blue Shift or Opposing Force or whatever. But you don't ever actually see this character. You only... The only look you really get at him is in, like, cover art for the games, which doesn't make him look like a 27-year-old, to be honest. Which is probably why people cast someone like Hugh Laurie in that role. But, uh, yeah. Now, I don't know who else I would cast uh, in, in the movie. In the, mo in, the mo in, in the TV show, I should say. I don't know who else I would cast in the TV show. Uh, you know, the voice actress who plays Judith Mossman, uh, she's actually a pretty good actress. I've seen her in other things. So if she's still the good age for it, I would probably just put her put her in, in that role. And potentially same thing with Alex. I don't know who they... I'd maybe just use who the, whoever they got for Half Life Alex. I don't. I, I know they got somebody different to play Alex for Half Life Alex or do the voice of Alex for Half Life Alex. I don't know if she looks like Alex, but you know if she does, then I'll probably just go with her too. Uh, yeah. So there you go. I hope that answers the question to the best of my ability. Uh, it's another long one again. These questions are getting out of hand. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments section below, and I will answer the best one in tomorrow's update. And that has been your daily Half-Life 3 update for April 17th, 2021.